What's up everyone, this is Trig, and uh, I'm out here in my backyard on this beautiful Memorial Day. I got my dog here, Daisy, that's uh, joining me. And You know, I've been thinking a lot about you guys and this whole idea of joy, of gozo, and really uh, thinking about how there's nothing that I want to do more, especially at this stage in my life, than to help people experience joy in life. And I find that for many of us, joy is something that I think we, we minimize it, even though we long for it and we know that there's a, a huge perspective that comes with it. We really simplify it to uh, owning things, to feeling happy, to our circumstances. But, um, you know, as I think of my life and I think of the people that I have been closest to, my grandmother, my mother, my father, and then in the last few years, my wife and children. I have seen example after example of what true joy is. And I have come up with a definition. I feel that joy is contentment within and gratitude without. In other words, it's contentment in our soul and it's gratitude in our circumstances. It's being content with what we have on the inside with our relationship with God, what I call finding grace through anxiety. And then instead of looking at our circumstances with kind of thumbs up or thumbs down or a like or don't like, we look at it with gratitude, with thankfulness. And I feel like my call upon life in this season where I'm at is to help you experience joy in the middle of fear, anxiety, depression, all the things that I have been through and that many people go through. Do you know that 40 million Americans experience some form of fear, anxiety, or depression in their lifetime? That's about 35% of the people in our country. So in other words, out of every 10, almost four people experience some form of anxiety, depression, some form of just not doing well internally. It's artists, it's leaders, it's moms, it's men, it's women, it's church leaders, it's people of faith. And uh, I have experienced that. My story is very simple. I grew up in an amazing environment with loving parents, but, but even as a young boy, uh, I experienced potential disasters in my life that wanted to get me off track. When I was only three years old, there was a major earthquake. And my mom tells me that a wall that was next to my crib could have killed me. But by the grace of God, the wall actually fell away from my crib. And then I went through a war. I went through separation from my parents. I've gone through the death of people that I love. I've gone through personal times of professional struggles and I've been, uh, I've dealt with trying to figure out my identity and, and turning 40 and, and going through midlife and, and seeing uh, a lot of my friends lose their marriages, lose their businesses. I've gone through financial problems. I've gone through many situations where I feel like I should have not made it through. And yet, not only did God, was God faithful, but I find that I am beginning to experience contentment in my soul, experience gratitude in the little things, just being back here, just being able to talk to you, just the simple things like some of the songs that God has given me and how they touch your life and even just that gozo head, you know, that mug that I have and how many people just love it. It makes me smile. I'm sure it makes you smile. So I feel like it's time for us to come together and I just want you to know that everything that I do with all of my posts, all of the articles, this ebook that I'm writing called Living on Gosso Street, all of these things that you see me perform or do and performing songs or videos and posts and whatever, I want you to know that I'm doing it to bring you joy because I know that many of you have amazing dreams but there's something inside that gets you off track. It could be fear, anxiety, depression. It could be circumstances. It could be that you've lost that adventure that you once had. It could be that you don't know how to find grace 
in the middle of your anxiety. It could be that you've lost your love, your first love for God or for people. And uh, I want to bring us together. I, I feel like it's time. So July 11th, I have something on my Facebook page. Check it out. Saturday, July 11th at 4 p.m. here in Long Beach, here at my own place. I want to invite you, 25 people, for a free event, including music, including workshops. I'm going to be reading from my brand new ebook. And most of all, we're going to have fun and laugh and learn. I'm going to also be performing some of my brand new songs with my band. And hopefully just to give you a time of joy, of grace. Many people write me all the time. They tweet me, they Facebook me, they text me saying, you know, thank you for being vulnerable. Thank you for helping my husband be honest with his depression. Thank you for being willing to pray for me. Thank you for being a person of God and faith and yet willing to talk about anxiety. I just don't really even know how God has done this and I'm still on the path with you. But one thing I know is that this is what I want to do. And I want to help you experience joy that, as I describe it, includes contentment, gratitude. I've, I have another definition that a friend gave to me. He said to me, Trig, joy is resistance against the forces of despair. I love Psalm 30. It says, though there's pain in the night, gozo comes in the morning. Jesus himself prayed that we would have the joy that he experiences. God experiences joy. He wants you to experience joy. Now what's joy for? It's so that you can go and live a life of adventure, a life of, of excitement and of love and of grace. That's what joy is for. And that's what you need to be experiencing in your life. If you're not, or if you want to grow in your joy, come to this event, July 11th. Let's meet, let's reconnect, let's meet once again and uh, invite your friends, tell everybody, 25 people, free. Go to my website, davidtrigg.com slash gozo to register. It's a free event. I can't wait to meet you. And if you have any questions, even in the next few weeks or months leading up to the event, let me know. What are the things that you're, you, wanna, you wanna have us cover? What are the themes that you want me and some of my friends talk about at this event? I hope that you come. Thanks so much for watching. And to all of the families of fallen people on this, on this Memorial Day, I'm with you. I thank you. We support all of the families and we remember all those who have lost their lives. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of this day.